Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, Canelo, so Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe Saunders. It's official, May 8, 2021 at the venue yet to be decided. They announced, well, this fight was pretty much official prior to the Canelo versus Avni Yildirim fight, but they officially, officially announced it right after Canelo stopped Avni Yildirim. As we all know, Canelo fought Abney Eldrum over the weekend. It was an easy fight, easy win for Canelo. A lot of people are complaining about how easy it was. Um, yes, it was an easy fight. Maybe uh, because Canelo was just too damn good. I mean, think about it. I mean, maybe it was just too damn good. But at the same time, you know, I can't put, I can't blame people who were complaining. Um, I, I did expect more from Abney Eldrum, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, in the end, this is the fight that we were looking forward to anyway. This is the, the more competitive fight. Canelo versus Saunders. Uh, I've always thought that Abney Elgin fight as a, a stay busy fight. Uh, Canelo just fought a couple months ago, so you know for him to fight in February, you know you gotta give him, him gotta give him props for staying busy, staying active. But uh, you know this is the one that we should be looking forward to the most. This fight against Billy Joe Saunders on May eighth should be uh, should be an interesting one. Um, it's a lot more competitive. Uh, Canelo hasn't fought a boxer like Saunders in a long time, especially a softball boxer. A softball boxer. Um, the last time he fought a softball boxer that I can think of is uh, uh, Sandy Lara. And in that fight, he had some problems in that fight. He arguably lost that fight. I'm going to be honest. He arguably lost that fight. Um, but Canelo is uh, much different now. He's a lot heavier, a lot stronger. Uh, has improved a lot more since the lara fight and uh it'll be interesting to see how this one will play out so anyway as we all know we all know who canelo is we just recently fought against abney eldrum 55 wins now with that one loss one and only loss two draws one number one pound for pound king the sport of boxing if he's <laughs> he should start following the dude man if you still don't know who he is jesus is 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 not only is he the number one pound for pound king he's also the number one most popular fighter at the moment, at least in my opinion. As for Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Joe Saunders, I'm sure a lot of people don't know who he is, a lot of the casual fans. Billy Joe Saunders is 31 years old from the UK. 30 wins, 0 losses, 14 wins count by way of knockout TKO. He's a WBO super middleweight champion of the world. He is coming off a, a win against Martin Murray back in December. Um, you know, he fought once last year during the pandemic, and now here he is. Here he is fighting in May against the number one king, Canelo. It's a good fight. It really is. A lot, I see a lot of people complaining leading up to the Yildirim fight. But at the same time, like, dude. So, it seems to me, the way it looks like, is that people would much rather wait for this fight and not see the Avenue Yildirim fight at all than see the Avni Yildirim fight and wait for this fight. You know what I mean? It's like, like, dude, Canelo's just fighting Yildirim just to stay busy and stay active and get rid of his mandatory status, uh, you know, mandatory challenger. And now that he's fighting Saunders, you know, people are still complaining. I don't understand. I, I, just, I just don't get it. I mean, like, like I said before, you know, haters gonna hate. Hate is gonna hate. People are gonna hate Canelo no matter what he does, no matter who he fights. As long as you're a hater, you're a hater. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, good fight. Looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.